Welcome to JH Weather Channel. We are here, Hurricane Milton is rolling in. We are in Bradenton right now. As you can see, the weather is starting to deteriorate pretty bad. Not ideal situation. It looks like the eye is going to cross right over our house. So I'm soaking wet. We just went and helped some people board up last minute. Got that taken care of. And uh, we are headed back to the house. It's about one in the afternoon. Um, this is gonna be a rough one. It's still a category five, supposed to drop to a four, supposed to maybe drop to a three. So, but no matter what, a four and three, it, it's all bad. There's just, there, there's those are heavy winds, not good. Um, so we're just gonna ride this thing out, get back to the shop. We got a couple small things left to do, move a couple small things around. And then after that, we're gonna be hunkered down in the house. And we're not coming out till the morning. See what to happen, see what happened overnight. But appreciate you guys riding along and uh, thank you guys for keeping us in our prayers. Hopefully we can finish this video off in a good way and we still have a shop and everything else, but we'll see. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. Well, it's about six o'clock. So far, so good. The uh, eye is gonna be passing over us within a couple hours. I guess the storm picked up speed. Everything inside the shop is fine so far. There's my baby. Kiss you. And uh, everything seems to be fine so far inside the shop. Everything's fine so far outside the house. Wind's definitely picking up. Probably like, I don't know, I would say we're getting like 30, maybe 40 mile an hour gusts. I don't think it's anything crazy right now. 
but uh, it is uh, it is starting to pick up. Things are getting interesting here in a little bit, as you guys can see. Just lost power. Dang it. Really? I literally just <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, we just lost power. You can't see anything. Unbelievable. <laughs> Things are starting to get a little spicy out here. Lost our power. My screen ripped off. Come on, man. Ah, oh, brother. Uh got the generator hooked up. on here. Basically, I'm going to be back feeding the box. So, mains off. So, I got to start kicking stuff on. Uh, and we'll see if we have power again. is uh coming off not ideal come on dang it milton yeah this is rough out here for real i'm gonna get back inside where it's safe but uh whoo buddy okay i'm gonna get back inside dang it i think we're gonna lose the roof that sucks frick guys going down Hey, if I just lose the roof on that, that's okay as long as that roof stays. That's all that matters. Looks like all the doors are good on that. Everything is still holding strong. But, uh, man. Yeah, as long as I keep that up, that's all I care about. Well, I thought it was just the roof, but unfortunately it looks like it took out the whole center of it. Oh, no. Okay, it's clear of the office. Well, hopefully the side-by-sides are okay. Shoot. I 
that building's still good as of right now. Nothing I see wrong over there. That one, not so much. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm trying to watch and uh, shine. Dang it. They ain't getting no better out here. I just heard a loud thud. Ended up having this thing fall on the, uh, the house. I'm gonna push it off so it doesn't do more damage. Be right back, guys. Look at that tree, pretty broken half. Oh my God, that's insane. Honestly, we were going to take that thing out anyways. It was dangerous in the mower races. Thanks, Milton. I went ahead and snagged the Can-Am. No damage whatsoever. It's good. I just didn't want that barn to fall completely on it. Oh, no. The awning for the RV, dude. My place is falling apart. Crap. All right. Be right back. So we are in what we believe to be the eye right now. The wind is starting to change. And uh, dogs are going to the bathroom, doing their thing. And uh, it's a little breezy. I don't think we're going to get the full eerie feeling of the eye that like totally stops. But as you can see, crazy how calm it is right now. We're in the eye of the hurricane. Awesome branches, for sure. So, I don't know how long the eye will last. But, uh... Oh, it's still holding up, so that's good. Everything else. Now it's going to start turning, and the wind's going to come from that way. It's been coming from that way. Now it's going to basically turn and come from this way after the eye's over us. A lot of cleanup to do. God, I hope I don't lose nothing else. Ow. So I noticed when the barn was down, the pipe is on the pole here, so it broke my water line. Powering the eye, trying to fix this thing. Get it up. Make sure it's going to stop pouring water out. I have to get the pipe to fix this. And that. Alright. Actually, just do the right thing. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to fill the water. I'm going to cut this end off. And then, uh, then I can um, do what I need to do and seal this pipe back up. I got something to repair it. further back. I don't think it really matters as far as the uh, um, cleaner, but Ooh, I may want to grab that. It's cleaned up enough. It is. Well, water doesn't want to stop. Thanks. But. It is what it is. Maybe if I glue the inside of this. We'll do the best we can. This other pipe is pretty, pretty dry. So that sucks. Probably way too much glue. If you're a plumber, don't make fun of me. Work on trucks, not pipes. Alrighty. Guys, we're fixed. So I think we got it. At least it might have a slow drip, but for the most part, we're good. And uh, 
I'm gonna probably move this thing off my can in here. That sucks. And uh, the other stuff is just, it is what it is, I guess. All right. All right. You know what? It is what it is. Because she's pretty beat up over here. It took this whole barn down, guys. Um, but at least we got this thing fixed. So what I'll do is I'm going to let this uh, break down now. And then that is solid now. So I don't have water pouring out. And, uh, man, I took my whole back wall. This is crazy standing in something that you would normally stand in and it's fully enclosed. Hit the fence. The whole top piece flew off right there. That's like the whole top middle piece right there. Just flipped it right over. Now the only thing is gonna start blowing back this way now. So I'm hoping it maybe just hits the back side of this. I know we got our racing mowers back there, but uh, it is what it is. What are you gonna do? There's you Uncle know, Chet's pit bike. Sorry, Uncle Chet. I tried keeping your bike safe. And oh it did it is safe still. It's not on it, so we're good. That windshield wasn't like that before the storm. That's true. <sighs> what a night. I had to zip tie the awning on the camper. Um, we had to do that. I think it missed the office. It is holy smokes and close to the office. It just folded her right back, didn't it? Well, well, let's go be safe. We'll go back inside. And now the wind is going to change and start blowing this way. It was blowing basically this way the whole time. It was blowing to the west. Now it's going to be blowing to the uh, south, I think, is where it's going to start blowing. So, yeah. Could have been a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. I am going to move this pole, though. So that it doesn't uh, get the pipe or anything, you know, that would suck. Oh, what was... Woo. At least it's not gonna, we don't have to worry about it falling down and hitting that pipe. All right. Plump, JH Diesel Plumbing Hurricanes. We do it all over here, guys. We do it all. All in all, storm is uh, going through. I know there's people going to be in a lot worse shape than us. So hopefully if they need help, we can be there for them. And, uh, oh well. A lot worse. I just hope it doesn't get worse because they say the back of the storm is pretty bad. House is still faring well. A lot of trees down though. We lost a lot of trees. So we're on the back side of the shop. The portalette's strapped to the tree. She's still hanging on. The shop so far so good. This tree lost some pretty decent sized limbs. Uh, but other than that, everything looks okay. Everything looks okay over here. Looks like those uh, pepper trees are all gone. Look how calm it is. Look at this. This is absolutely, the trees aren't even moving. They're like literally still. We are in the eye of the hurricane right now. Hurricane Milton in the eye. Well, we're out of the eye, and as you guys can probably see, well, the eye is still here. This is like about to be out of it. Wind is just steadily picking up, and now it's coming straight from this way. So let's just pray that everything holds up from the other way. So nerve wracking, man. So nerve wracking. 50% of the way through it, and everything just has to hold up a little longer. The house is still good. I'm a little concerned because of all the tree branches we lost. I hope no more come out of that big tree on top of my house. But... And the barn now, hopefully, the barn doesn't flip back over this way. That would be the worst, worst case thing. So, oh, man. Ah. Nerve wracking, but it's crazy, guys. Wind is coming this way now. It was so calm and still in the eye. It was insane. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna get back.
back inside where it's safe and uh, relax for a little bit until this thing picks back up. All right, so it's about 11 o'clock at night. Checking some more stuff out. Looks like we got a few more branches down now. The trees are blowing the other way. Shop still seems to be in great condition. Got a couple more off this tree. Uh, all the trucks. Looks like my crown bit got hit with a branch. But good, I parked my stuff there because I wanted the end for the trees just in case so it can get stuck on the truck. Um, but as you guys can see, the barn is still down. The X3, I couldn't get it out. I got the defender out. But the X3 had a bunch of stuff on it. I just didn't want to risk it. RV is still good. Ripping the other way now. It's completely 180'd on us. Now it's going to the to the east. Um, wild, freaking wild. Everything looks okay for now, though. Well, it's about 7 a.m. We survived the storm. The house survived the storm. The shop survived the storm. My barn, not so much. And I'm just barely looking out here. There's so much trees on the ground. So many trees. Um, I'm going to hook my Starlink up. I have no internet, no service, nothing. So we're going to get the Starlink hooked up. And uh, we'll have that thing going. And then we're going to do a walk around to the property. And then take a drive and uh, you know see what's going on. So wild. But we did survive, guys. We're good. We're going to assess the damage around the, uh, the Jade Diesel facility. So as you can see, we have just a ton of tree limbs down. The dually made it. The side-by-side, uh, -side, I went and covered that from under the barn. But the amount of trees that went down here is absolutely insane. I mean, it literally just, uh, as you guys saw the video before this, these trees are just completely bare now. It's like we live up north, you know, we lost all our leaves in the fall time. This is how we did, this is how we lose our leaves in the fall. Um, but all in all, customer vehicles look okay. Um, tree limbs everywhere. There's tree limbs just, yeah. Neighbor's place looks really good. Other neighbor's place looks really good. Um, so that's awesome. I don't see anybody's houses or anything damaged. Looks like we got a couple of limbs on the old budget bogger and maybe a couple of other trucks. All these trucks look okay. Which was one of my top priorities was keeping the customer stuff safe. That way uh, we don't have to worry about any issues with that. Dogs are happy. You happy, babe? What do you think of that storm? Um, it's pretty wild. It was pretty intense. A little bit of it was pretty intense. I was outside a lot of it. I was on the RV almost. Trying to get the can am out, fix the water pipe. But, man. Gonna be a lot of cleanup. We came south and west, looks like, towards. Towards uh, Siesta Key and the other side of Bradenton. It's gonna be really rough over there. Good thing though, all the trucks are good. It is wet. Ground is soggy. Oh! Oh, wow. Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, she got rowdy. It started, must have started really kicking this way. Look, it moved. Look at this. It literally moved the camper like. Look at that. It actually pushed it. Damn it. Holy crap. Pushed the camper over like six inches. It was so close to tumbling. Oh my God. I cannot believe that. All in all, though, she looks good. Survived. 
Oh, oh yeah, look at the poor Lillette. She made it. She made it on the other side. She definitely got shifted a little bit. But she survived. Let's go. Dude, that means that thing would have been gone if I didn't think about tying that thing up. Leave it shifted that thing six inches like that. <sighs> Just debris. I said I tried parking most of my stuff over here so it blocked the trucks in case something did come down. Budget bogger got some branches. We got a few branches here, but all in all, every truck looks pretty good. Now, we're gonna go check out the town. Sun's starting to come up. Get up over those clouds. Dang, man. Let's back here. Now let's go assess the barn. That's our biggest loss. It looks like the X3 fared pretty well on this, surprisingly. Still for sale. Anybody's interested? <laughs> Still for sale. I do have full coverage on the X3 and stuff, so if something were to happen, it would have you know, been okay. But man, it just picked this whole thing up. I think the reason why is obviously the uh, the this thing had a back wall, and the wind was just blowing through here, and it just ended up pushing the roof off. It's kind of weird standing in a building that should have a roof but it doesn't it's like a really is it not a weird feeling last night when we came out here all your parts are still on this shelf do what oh they were too all your parts are on this shelf and the wind shifted the that's right look what i did just rip this thing apart it just literally ripped like because that thing was fully intact laying back there and it has just ripped it apart Well, whew. this tree was putting off some big branches, as you guys saw. This is just one yard. This is just a couple acres. I can't imagine what the rest of the town looks like. Blew my siding off. Somehow that building held. Good little building. That sucks. My neighbor runs a storage lot and looks like it caught his camp or caught one of the campers. Ah, uh, what are you gonna do? Maybe it's time for a little barn upgrade anyways. Get something a little nicer, something I can fit some more stuff in. Run out of storage room. So maybe this has worked out for the best. There's just so many freaking branches. It's gonna be Hell of a cleanup back here. This tree lost that. That was a pretty good sized tree. Gone. Well, the other half was cut down. That thing ain't gonna be right. Lost a uh, half the pine tree that was left. Well, the backyard doesn't look too bad, actually. The backyard looks pretty, uh, pretty good. Go see what everything else looks like around here. I can't believe your debris piles have been going. Here. My what? Yeah, like what? A pile of trash. Literally, like a pile of cardboard and branches and light stuff just stayed. Some things amaze me. I don't get it. Ah. Oh. All right, so let's go check out our friends. Make sure everybody else is good and uh, see if anybody needs any help. Generator life. <laughs> Just doing my wifey duties. Hey, what a good sport. You're awesome. You are honestly the best. Filling her up and uh, got our Starlink hooked up so we got some um, internet and uh, 
get our phones. Our phones are not working right now. I mean, they are literally like very, very, very scarce. Um, so we're relying on uh, Starlink for Wi-Fi calling and stuff like that. Get a hold of my family members, her family members, make sure everybody's good. Dude, you know how expensive gas is nowadays? Damn you, Hurricane Milton. Well, that's going to do it for us for our Hurricane Milton coverage. Uh, hell of a night, guys. Hell of a day. We have a lot of cleanup to do. It's pretty insane. Like, I have so much cleanup to do. It's it's pretty nuts. But uh, we did get uh, our biggest struck. Our biggest problem was this, obviously the barn coming down. But we will rebuild we will rebuild that uh it is just material things but then the amount of trees i have down is just insane i cannot believe it i've been to other people's yards and they are nowhere near as bad as mine but uh it, it's okay you know it is what it is it's all part of the hurricane stuff but just thankful that me and danielle are safe and the dogs are safe and uh, the house is okay, a couple little scratches, but nothing crazy, and everything for the most part is good to go. So uh, we are without power, we're gonna be living off generator power. I think for a while there is literally power lines down everywhere. I Today they probably assessed the damages, figured out what they needed. We already passed a few semis loaded with telephone poles coming from the East Coast. I think we're gonna, it's gonna take couple days maybe maybe you know a week I, I don't know i don't think it'll take a week but a couple days probably so we live off generator power good thing we got one that powers the air conditioning and stuff so we should be good there but again guys thank you so much for watching the jh channel hoping to be back on the car project soon we have a ton of cleanup to do so we're gonna get started on that right away and hopefully once this place is all cleaned up ready to go get back to the car content get our power back be able to have some fun on the channel so thank you guys for sticking around thank you guys for the prayers and there's going to be people that need help from this. There's people a lot worse off than us. So if you guys can help your neighbors, whatever, go for it. Uh, we are good. I think I'm going to have the crew come in. We'll knock this thing out. So thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll see you next time.